Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Hey everyone, I'm Eurogamer's Ian Higton, and in this Red Hot Meat Inspection video, I'm going to attempt to rank Dragon's Dogma 2's grilled meat from worst of the worst to the best prime cuts available. There are eight different types of meat to grill at campfires in Dragon's Dogma 2, and each one gives you slightly different buffs when you do so. Every meaty treat on the menu also has a different live-action video that plays out to accompany this process, except that is for dried meat and exquisite dried meat, which share the same videos for some reason. I don't know, maybe they made a mistake during the production process. Interestingly, Dragon's Dogma 2's live-action meat grilling scenes are also dependent on the time of day that you set up camp. So if you cook hot meat during the day, you'll get a slightly different video to the one that you'd see if you cooked the meat at night, and vice versa. Nothing changes buff-wise, though, only visually, so overall there are 14 different meaty videos for you to enjoy. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. This plays in quite nicely to the achievement, I mean the achievement, stroke trophy, the Barbecue Maester, which is currently listed as ultra rare, no pun intended for once, on the PlayStation 5. To earn this, you must grill every type of meat during both the day and the night, which, considering you'll have to do each one twice, can take quite a while, so make sure you get onto it as soon as possible. Come on now, chop chop! The stakes are high for this one, and I've based my decisions on both visual appeal of the grilling footage and the stat boosts offered. But do you think my choices are strong enough, or did I butcher their order? Let me know what positions you'd place the meat in in the comments below. Oh, and one more thing before I start, I've also included a literal sizzle reel right at the end of this video that shows all of the meaty treats being grilled away in this list's order without any interruptions at all, which I think is also a clever way of beefing up the runtime. All right, let's get it on. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? It shouldn't come as a surprise that something with the word rotten in its name would come bottom of this list, but Rotten Scrag of Beast here is the lowest of the low by far. Created by keeping Scrag of Beast in your inventory for multiple days, when eaten raw, this rancid hunk of flesh will restore a bit of health, but it will also inflict the blighted debilitation. So make sure you cook this at a campfire first to avoid a bad case of runny tummy later on. Stats-wise, this unappetizing chunk of meat will only give you a plus one boost to your strength and defense if you do cook it, which is one of the lowest meat buffs that you can get. And visually, it is a putrid mess too. The dark brown color of the meat is a really bad sign here, as is the dark sticky blood that's bubbling from the bone, which is a sure sign that this meat is spoiled. There's also hardly any fat on this one, and because of this it looks like it'll be dry and leathery, rather than juicy and tender. Please only eat this one if you're super desperate. The Rotten Beast steak here is fairly similar to the Rotten Scrag of Beast, in that it not only gives you a plus one boost to your strength and defense, but it will also make you poop through the eye of a needle if you eat it raw. In addition to that, it also shares that dark, dry, shrunken, tough and sticky look that had the rotten scrag of beast sitting firmly at the bottom of this list. And in fact, the only thing that pushed this one higher up is the sheer volume of meat available, as it's easily double the size of the scrag. Just look at the depth to the cut there, and the way that it hardly fits on the skillet. Sure, it looks like someone is basically grilling an old dry boot, but if you cut off all the manky parts, you'd probably still have enough meat left over to feed a full party of four. Want to taste test this one for yourself? Keep a beast steak in your inventory, go off on some adventures, and after a couple of days, your pockets will be full of fetid flesh. Thankfully, things start to get a little bit more edible from now on, as the unspoiled scrag of beast here will give you a plus three boost to your strength, defense, and stamina. Plus, you can eat it raw without worrying about your stomach turning inside out later on. 
The light pink colour of the meat in this live-action footage suggests that it is pretty fresh, as it would be in the game, as Scrag of Beast is what you'll get from killing a live animal. But there's a bit too much fat on this cut, which will work against the tenderness of the final meal. The more fat, the less tender it'll be, as fat increases the time it takes for the meat to cook through. Which is why, in the nighttime footage, you can see that different areas of the cut are different shades of colour. There's not a huge amount of meat here either, what with all the fat and that big bone running through it, so if you do decide to cook this one up, you might want to do it when your least favourite pawn isn't looking. Sorry, there's just not enough to go around. The aged scrag of beast here signals the beginning of the primest cuts in Dragon's Dogma 2. Visually, it's pretty similar to the scrag of beast, but the fact that most of the fat on this meat is at the top of this cut rather than running through it means that it'll stay moist as it cooks. There's still a large bone in there, but there's way more meat overall, and in the nighttime footage you can see that it's cooking way more evenly. Combine that with the marbled look to the meat in the daytime shot, and this all indicates a high quality cut. To age the scrag of beast, all you need to do is let it sit in your inventory for a day or so, but be careful not to let it sit there for too long, or it will rot. The slightly darker red to the meat in the daytime footage shows that it has been aged slightly, but this makes it a much more flavourful meal, and as such it'll give you a plus four boost to your strength, defence, stamina and recovery when consumed. Aged scrag of beast can also be eaten raw if you need to recover a small amount of health in a pinch, but of course it's much better for you if you cook it at a campfire. The beast steak here won't buff you as well as the aged scrag of beast, it only provides you with a plus four boost to your strength, defence and stamina, whereas the aged scrag also gives you a boost to your recovery, but I'm putting this one higher on the list because I'm writing this script while feeling hungry and there's just so much meat on show here. This is an absolutely whopping cut of meat that dwarfs the aged Crag of Beast in size. Hell, I think this one could easily feed an entire rift full of pawns. There's so much to it. Quality-wise, it's not the best cut I've ever seen. The thick veins of fat running through it will keep it moist, sure, but the way it's cooking unevenly in the night footage and the way that there's not much fat marbling in the meaty parts will probably mean that the final product is less tender and juicy than the aged scrag. This entry is a combination of two because, as I mentioned before, dried meat and exquisite dried meat share the same live action footage. These boneless chunks of meat look insanely tasty grilling away here, mainly thanks to that yellowy white fatty marbling that runs all the way through them. They look firm and juicy and while the nighttime footage makes these look perhaps a little bit overdone for some people, I think visually this is probably the one that I enjoy looking at the most. Despite sharing the same footage, there are some big differences in boosts depending on which version you choose to cook though. Dried meat, which you can find in chests or be given as rewards, can be eaten raw to recover a fair amount of health, but when cooked at a campfire, it'll give you a plus three boost to your strength, defense and stamina. Exquisite dried meat, on the other hand, has to be crafted by combining two aged beast steaks together. Do this and it'll increase those strength, defense and stamina boosts to plus four if you cook it, while eating it raw will also give you a fair amount of health recovery. What's good about the dried meat and exquisite dried meat over all the other meats though is that it never becomes rotten, so this one you can keep in your bag for as long as you want without having to worry about maggoty pockets later on. And so that leaves the top spot open for the incredible aged beast steak here, which is made by keeping a beast steak in your inventory for just over a day. Consumed raw, it'll only help you recover a small amount of health, but if you cook it up on a campfire, it will give you a whopping plus five boost to your strength, defense, stamina, and recovery, which makes it by far the best meal to eat before embarking on any big adventure. 
Combine this with live action footage that features a cut of meat of incredible quality and you've got a recipe for meaty success. Just look at the amount of meat there. There's a small amount of fat on the edge that'll keep it moist as it cooks, but the majority of this steak is a big slab of unbroken flesh that features all that juicy marbling running right through it. I sincerely hope that someone got to eat this thing after the filming was done, because by the old gods, it looks delicious. Succulent, juicy, tender... Oh my god, and it was probably really expensive to buy too. And there we go. I tend to make good choices when it comes to food, but maybe you think these picks were awful. Once again, let me know how you place the meat in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Eurogamer on YouTube for almost daily videos about video games. And now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this sizzle reel. Goodbye.